I've got a few cool items from a taste of states and I've got a few cool alcohol type bits and pieces. Well, stay tuned to the shopping haul video and you'll see a lot, a lot more than just what the two items were which are in my hand. So, why wouldn't you watch now? Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK and another shopping haul video. Yeah, we've got another package from A Taste of the States, so I'll go on to that in a minute. And um, we've also got a few alcohol products that I bought recently that uh, I posted on Instagram but not really done a video on them yet. So I thought I'd highlight some of them as well. First of all, let's just talk about the A Taste of the States haul. Thank you very much to A Taste of the States for sending this package out to us. You can use our exclusive discount code FRUCK15, which gives you 15% off. Now the great thing about using this code is that when you guys use the FRUCK15 code and get 15% off, and the A Taste of the States people see that people are using it, they're like, man, these FRUCK guys, they're good people. We should continue working with them. So it helps us out, guys. So do use it. Anyway, this week or this month or this period of time this is what I received and um, so I've got the Pringles rotisserie chicken I'm very excited to try these I think these look really really interesting I mean rotisserie chicken probably one of the nicest things ever I suppose this has been on their site for a while and it is such a classic product I thought um, it's been it's been years and years since I've had it so I thought I'd refresh my mind on what Arizona iced tea with lemon tastes like now, a Snyder's product, this is pretzel chips, and I went for the savoury multi-seed. I think these are going to be absolutely absurdly Moorish. And I've got a couple of smaller products here, so you can literally buy this on their site. Um, I actually bought Swedish fish. I think I bought them when I was in America last time, and I just didn't eat them. <laughs> like, I'd always wanted to try them, but for some reason I just didn't eat the damn things because I'm stupid. So I bought one. I bought one. So in fact, why not? Ooh. Oh my god, it smells really, really fruity. Alright, let's go again. Mmm. Ooh. Not quite the texture I was expecting. Wow. Mmm. Oh my god, it's insanely chewy. Very stuck in teethy. But not, not in a bad way. Ooh. Oh, wow. Is that like cherry? I don't even know what flavour that is, but I really like it. It's like so chewy. Like a dense gummy. Oh, it's got a real air of like wine gums to it. Mmm. That's really nice. That's better than I expected it to be honest. Then, from Double Bubble, I got cotton candy bubble gums. Love cotton candy things. Speaking of cotton candy things, a cotton candy flavour Wowie Pop. Oh, Wowie Pop. I thought this would be fun. Two flavour Mystery Swirl Laffy Taffy. More styles of candy that I know I'm going to love. So here I've got Sweet Tart Ropes in a nice pack here. Bit of weight to it, these are like pencils. And this one is Rainbow Punch flavour. Love the packaging on that. And these, oh, I was fuming, right? They had another product on their site by Fini, or Fini, um, which was like a bit more of a like licorice fruit all sort of style. And I was going to get it. I actually added it to my basket. And then when I went to actually place the order, they were sold out. So yeah, gassing. The lesson learned there is don't delay if you see something on there because it is rather a popular site. Anyway, Hoopla's Mini Fruit Licorice. Oh, I didn't even notice this. It's actually got the flavors on here. Orange Cherry, Strawberry Lemonade, Apple Watermelon, and Blueberry Raspberry. Wow, I know I'm gonna bloody love them. Just realized as well, I've just eaten that Swedish fish and we're supposed to take photos of all the products we received. Well, I took a video of it, I sort of the same. Right, look at this. You may have seen, if you watch our lockdown vlog, oh yeah, we're in lockdown, I ain't even mentioned yet. We're in lockdown, it's it's great to just even receive these food packages in lockdown, to be honest, because we're all 
sort of basically depressed, didn't we, because of the awful situation. Anyway, if you're not watching the lockdown vlogs on Theme Park Life, they are extremely entertaining. I would highly recommend you watch them, guys. In one of them, I recently made the cherry cake that I got from a taste of the and it was it was so good. I also bought vanilla icing and added cherry flavouring and colouring to the cherry icing, so it was a proper cherry experience with cherry cake, cherry icing. It was it was absolutely delicious. Uh, I probably put on like severe weight just from eating it, to be honest. But anyway, I've got another Betty Crocker one from them. Uh, this time I've gone for the super moist German chocolate because I've heard that this is really, really good. Uh, again, I can't actually make it quite yet. Well, I can. I can make my own icing. I'd rather use Betty Crocker icing with it, so I'm going to grab some of that and then we can make it. Last few bits from Taste of States. I got wild berry fruit loops. I really, really, really like Fruit Loops, so I think that the berry variety is going to be delicious. It's going to be up my alley. And look at the packaging on this. I mean, wow. Kellogg's Chocolate Peanut Butter Corn Pops. So they're basically going to be like Kellogg's version of Reese's Puffs, I'm guessing, although these look to all be peanut flavour instead of like the Reese's Puffs, which have chocolate flavour thrown into the mix. Uh, ipso facto, these are probably going to be better. Um, and Reese's Puffs, I Reese's Puffs are probably the, the best cereal I've ever had. Um, I really, really like Fruit Loops. Like it has to be said. Uh, partly because I just think they are absolutely delicious. The American ones, I have to express. The, the UK ones are garbage. Um, but the American ones are amazing. It, it may partly be due to a little bit of nostalgia. Because the first time I ever went to America, I went with my friend Michael and his family. Um, and that was the first time I tried Fruit Loops. They were available at the... A breakfast buffet that we ate every morning. It was amazing. Like the buffet itself, all the cooked food was incredible. But they also had Fruit Loops, and that was the first time I tried them. And like they blew me away then, and I still love them to this day. But our Reese's Puffs are the best cereal I've ever had, quite possibly. So it's hard to choose between those two. But if this is just a more condensed version of Reese's Puffs, this this could be. This could be the new number one baby, so I'm, I'm proper excited for these. I probably will do a review for these. By the way, that brings me on to, let us know in the comments below if you want to specifically see reviews of any of these products, because I, I don't like bombarding the channel with American food reviews, but also they're fun items. So let me know. And also click like, guys. Don't be stingy, right? Check that like button. Okay, so that's it for the Taste of the States haul. Frog 15 gives you 15% off, helps me out. Cool. Everyone wins. Everyone wins. Just like a couple of items I got on the last Essentials shop. Special K. And I got that new Kit Kat Gold Bar. Fine. Good. Now, a few types of alcohol that we've received recently. Because, again, if you've been watching our lockdown vlogs, you'll know that we've got into cocktails recently. And I'm, I'm starting to get better at making them. So that's fun and good. Absolute vanilla. This is vanilla vodka and I'm a big fan of this stuff. It adds vanilla-y flavour to uh, cocktails. Also a lot of strength. It's 40% aka 80 proof. Um, so it adds a lot of strength and vanilla flavouring without adding sweetness. This is not a sweet drink. Um, and then we've got Tanqueray Gin, which is apparently a very popular variety of gin. Again, this is a strong one at 47.3%. This is, I think this is actually the strongest alcohol that we own now. Generally speaking though guys, I'm more of a creamy guy, so I showed this at the beginning. This is Disserano Velvet. This is an almond flavour creamy liqueur. Uh, this stuff is absolutely delicious, just on its own this stuff is amazing. Um, and I've also got this, this is also very nice. Uh, this is Mozart, which I think is quite a popular brand of like alcohol things. And this is white chocolate vanilla cream, so another creamy one, not a million miles away from the vein of this. In fact, they're both white with gold, aren't they? So, cool. Right, that's all I've got for you today, Albert. Right, that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you didn't click like earlier, click like now. Hey. Stay safe. Coronavirus can absolutely get stuffed, can't it? So that's good. Anyway, we'll see you next time, guys. Cheers. <laughs>